Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Dankus Dungeon. Today we're just going to be bringing some of our personal decks. Let's go ahead and see what everyone brought to the table. Hey, it's Jason. Today I'm going to be playing Galazeth Prismari. I'm looking to make a bunch of treasure tokens, use them to cast instants and sorceries, and eventually turn them into creatures to swing wide. Hey, I'm Corbin. I'm playing a storm deck. I'm either gonna be playing with myself or uh, storming off, but either way, I'm gonna get my exercise in for today. Hey, it's Matt. Uh, I am here today playing Akiri Line Slinger and Silas Run Secret Adept. Don't worry, those of you who are already wringing your hands and gnashing your teeth, uh, today I am not playing stacks. I will leave that to Jason. Instead, I'm gonna try to do a bunch of artifact-based shenanigans, including but not limited to hitting people in the face with a Kiri. So hopefully that will go well. Hi, I'm Xavier. Uh, this is my first time on the show. I am playing Miriam Sentinel Worm. Uh, basically, dragons on dragons on dragons. All the dragons. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and roll off. I got a seven. What is this, eight? Sure. Seven. Seven. This is how we do it. Off to an amazing start. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. I'll keep. I will also keep. Uh, I'm gonna play a swamp if has. I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play a super swamp, aka Godless Shrine, untapped, taking some damage, and I will immediately put everyone to the test with this Esper Sentinel. <laughs> got him. Pass. I'm gonna play Path of Ancestry, tapped, and pass string. I will play, let's go with a tapped Sulphur Falls. I'll pass. Uh, end of your turn, I'm going to Swamp Cycle Troll of Kaze Doom to go get a Swamp. Legacy All-Star Troll of Kaze Doom. That's not even a joke, he's like actually really good in Legacy. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Blood Crypt because it is in fact a Swamp. Go to my turn. I will play this Blood Crypt untapped, and then I will pass the turn. Basic Mountain. I'm going to pay two mana and cast Akiri Lion Slinger. First Arc Vigilance, 0, 3, gets plus one plus all for each artifact I control, which is currently one. I'm going to hit Corbin for one, because he's at the lowest life total. Sure. Go ahead. Draw, I will play a Mountain, and I will pass turn. Yeah, I'll play a Mountain too. I'm going to pass. Uh, end of your turn. I'm going to Swamp Cycle Twisted Abomination. I'm going to get a Haunted Mire into my hand. They really need to print the, the enemy cycle lands. Dude, this deck would be busted. That's all that's holding it back. That is all that's holding it back. I will play Haunted Mire. I'm just gonna pass the turn, you know, chill. I am going to play Seagate Reborn face down in defense mode, and I'm going to pay three life. I'm going to tap my godless shrine for a white mana and cast Nile Spellbomb. I can tap and sack it. Wow. To exile all right. cards from a player's graveyard. When it goes in the graveyard, I can pay black to draw a card. Corbin is thrilled to hear this. I am going to tap a red as well and cast Goblin Welder, which allows me to swap artifacts out of graveyards. Go to combat. Akiri is now a two power creature. So I will send that at Jason, and I will continue the Esper Sentinel beats on Corbin. It's two commander damage on Jason. Haha. -ha. Draw a forest and pass turn. I'm gonna draw. Play a Shiv and Reef. I'll pay two plus an additional one for an arcane signet. Paying for Esper Sentinel, and I'll pass my turn so Corbin can cycle. More swamp cycling. <laughs> Never enough swamps. Never enough swamps. I'm gonna get a watery grave. I will play Kaidel because she blocks Esper symbol. No, I'll pass. That is a good reason. I land for turn is Odawara, Soaring City. One, two, three, four mana, and cast a Grim Hireling. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create two treasure tokens. I can pay a black and sacrifice X treasure tokens to make a creature that much smaller. Unfortunately, I can no longer hit Corbin. Xavier for one of Esper Sentinel, and I will continue the Akiri beatdown on Jason for two. I will trigger Grim Hireling. I get four treasures. Oh, it's per opponent? I thought it was yeah. one or more opponent. One or more creatures deal combat damage to a player. Wow, that's pretty messed up. It's Crazy. pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty <Yeah>. messed up. <laughs> Kiri now has six power, which is uh, higher. Pass turn. Draw. I'm going to start off by playing an island. I'm going to pay a green for Elvish Mystic. More blockers. <sighs> Pass turn. I'm going to play a mountain. Four mana, tapping Signet for a blue for Galazeth Prismari. Uh, he's a flying 3-4. When he enters play, I make a treasure token. Artifacts I control have tap for one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast an instant or sorcery. That'll be my turn. 
a pure mountain. Soul Rig. I will play a Zagoth Crystal. Taps for soul tie colors for those paying attention at home. And then I'll pass. I am going to tap a blue and cast Preordain. Scry to enjoy a card. I will keep both on top. I'm going to cast a Goblin Engineer. When there's a battlefield, I can search my library for an artifact card, put it in my graveyard, and then shuffle. Pay red and tap to change a small artifact in my graveyard with one I have in play. I will not be able to pay the one, unfortunately, but I will expunge the Goblin Welder. I will trigger Esper Sentinel and draw a card. Yep. Then, yeah, Goblin Welder bites it. I'm going to go find the card Immovable Rod. Uh, Immovable Rod has a lot of text on it, and we'll deal with that if it ever enters the battlefield. But for now, it's in my graveyard. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to swing at Jason with this 6-3 first strike, and I'm gonna sing Swing at Xavier with this 3-2. I'll take yeah. six. Four more treasures. I think I just pass. Let's just pass. Reliquary Terror. Then I am going to cast my commander. That'll be the end of my turn. Mishra's Bobble for zero. Trigger Esper Sentinel. You can have one card. Thank you. Academy Manufacturer. Follow that up with a prize statue. When it enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard, create a treasure token. Instead, I will create a treasure token, a food token, and a clue token. That's a croissant. Oh, okay, I was gonna say a croissant. shrimp. <laughs> I think that's it. I'll pass. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at the dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and commenting down below all help as well and are totally free. Thank you all for watching and enjoy the game. What is this? Neat. Pastor. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, cast Word of Invention, X is four. Tap a food and a prize statue to cast Arcane Denial. I will trigger Esper Sentinel. I'll pay the one. I'll counter that spell. You'll draw two on your upkeep, I'll draw one. Hells, yes I will. At the beginning of my upkeep, I get to draw two cards. I'll draw one. Land for turn is Marsh Flats. Blue, red, one. Sahili, Sublime Artificer. Whenever I cast a non-creature, I get a 1-1 one, one servo. And I can minus two to turn an artifact I control into a copy of another artifact or creature. Until end of turn, I am going to fetch with this Marsh Flats. Join my brother in blood crypting. It's even the same one. A man of culture, I see. <laughs> Dockside Extortionist. We're good at this. All right. I mean, we're not good with it, but it resolves. I now have a million treasures. Pay a black and sacrifice three treasures to give Kaidel minus three, minus three until end of turn. Sure. And then I'm going to go to combat. Kiri's going at Jason. Esper Sentinel's going at Corbin. I'm going to cycle this blasted landscape and draw a card. I'm going to cycle a remote aisle and draw a card. Academy Manufacturer will block the Kiri. Sure. Three, paying the one. Attempt to March of Swirling Mist, Akiri, and Esper Sentinel. All right, second main. I'm gonna pay five treasures to cast Tezzer the Seeker. Trigger Sahili, I'm gonna make a servo. I am going to minus four Tezzeret and immediately kill him. So search my library for an artifact and put it onto the battlefield. I'm gonna find Clock of Omens. I can tap two untapped artifacts I control to untap another target artifact. So I'm gonna use one of my treasures down to five. I'm gonna tap Goblin Engineer. I'm gonna sacrifice the servo. He died so young. To return immovable rod to the battlefield. I will respond. To Center's Deliverance targeting Clock of Omens. I'm gonna pay a treasure and prevent you with an offer you can't refuse. Yeah, that's fine. Immovable Rod. You may choose not to untap a movable rod during your untap step. Whenever it becomes untapped, venture into the dungeon. Four, tap. For as long as a movable rod remains tapped, another target permanent loses all abilities and can't attack or block. I am going to tap Clock of Omens and a movable rod. To activate Clock of Omens, targeting a movable rod, which will untap it. When the movable rod becomes untapped, I get to venture into the dungeon. I'm going to choose the Lost Mine of Fendelver. I'm going to go to the first room and scry one. Oh, when I countered your spell, I get a servo. Sure. I am going to tap my servo and a movable rod, activating Clock of Omens, untapping a movable rod. Uh, I'm going to create a new treasure token. Tap one of those treasure tokens and a movable rod to untap a movable rod. This time, I am going to... Each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Wow, amazing. I am going to tap another treasure. Is that the one? Yeah. Transfer yeah. one. <laughs> over yeah. and over. Okay. I'm gonna draw a card. Whee. 
I will tap one more treasure for now to scry one. Scry to the bottom. All right, that's it, go ahead. You have any flyers, Matt? Nope. That's cool. Yep. I am going to play Cinderglade, day five. Play Quirrell on the Boundless Sky, Miriam triggers and I get a copy. It has flying and death touch. Uh, whenever Kura the Boundless Sky dies, choose one. Search my library for up to three land cards, reveal them and put them in my hand, or create an XX green spirit creature token where X is the number of lands I control. Seems good. Would you like to scry? Uh, yes, I would like to scry. So combat, uh, Miriam will swing at Sahili. No. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Six, six flying, yep. End of my turn. Play mountain. I'll pass. Neat. Um, I think I am supposed to pass the turn. At the beginning of your end step, I am going to tap a treasure and a movable rod to untap a movable rod. I'll make another treasure. I am going to tap a treasure and a movable rod to untap a movable rod. You each get to lose a life, I'll gain a life. I will tap this final treasure and a movable rod to untap a movable rod, and I will draw a card. I'm going to tap Nile Spellbomb and a movable rod to untap Nile Spellbomb. So once you're done with all that, I will a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. Jesus. What's going on? Uh, explosion. Oh, okay. Four damage to Grim Hirely, and I will attempt to draw four cards. I cannot do anything about that. I will go to my turn. My phased out creatures face back in. When a movable rod on taps, I will venture into the dungeon and scry one. Land for turn of City of Brass, so I can hurt myself some more. Go to combat. Esper Sentinel at Corbin. Akiri at Jason. I'll block with him, and then I will pay three to Ottawara Akiri back to your hand. All right. Take four. Yeah, you will. Second main, I am going to pay two mana, and I'm going to play Akiri again. Because it's sweet. I'm going to cast a Mishra's Bauble. Neat. Hey. I am going to take a damage from my Seti Brass to cast Enlightened Tutor. Ah, I have so many options here, but I think I'm going to go get the One Ring. How do we let this happen? <laughs> what? I am going to tap Clock of Omens and Immovable Rod to untap Immovable Rod. I will create another treasure token. Tap that treasure token and Immovable Rod to untap Immovable Rod. You each get to lose a life. I will gain a life. I am going to tap another treasure token. Draw a card. Oh, wow. It's this card. One, two, three, four. The One Ring. I will respond. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Mystical Teachings. Search your library for an instant or a card with flash. And put it in your hand. Trigger Esper Sentinel. I paid the one. I'm gonna get Shredded Cells. I will cast it, targeting Clock of Omens. I guess I will respond. Servo and a movable rod to untap a movable rod and scry one. Use a treasure to make a new treasure. I can use that treasure to drain you each for one. One more treasure to draw a card. Do I want to keep going? Probably. We're gonna go down to one untapped treasure to scry one, and then I will use the last untapped treasure to make a new treasure. The time has finally come. Clock of Omens is dead. How about this One Ring? How do we feel about this? I mean, terrible, but I don't run counter spells, so. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, since I cast it, uh, I gain protection from everything until my next turn. Tap it, draw a card. That's it, past turn. Five, six, scry for that. Okay, tire it. Uh, Ryusei, the falling star. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's also pretty good. Yeah. Miriam trigger, get a copy, scry. I'm just gonna swing one career at both of you guys each. <laughs> and pass turn. All right, untap draw. So you have pro everything, huh? Yes. That's pretty cool for you. I like it. Tap this food for a red. Pay one for Esper Sentinel. I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna put a card into my hand and then discard a card at random. Okay, I put a card into my hand. I currently have six cards if someone would like to roll a dice. Perfect, four. Four. That is a treasure vault. I'm gonna play an island for turn. Five for Vandal Blast. Overloaded. Overloaded Vandal Blast. Destroy all target artifacts I don't control. Float to red. Sacrifice Mistress Bobble, targeting Jason. I can get your top card. I can draw a card during the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. Cool. Then I'm going to sacrifice Nile Spellbomb, targeting Corbin. Sure. Exile your graveyard. When it goes to the graveyard, I will pay black with my treasure to draw an additional card. Uh, yeah. All right. That happens. 
Goodbye treasures, goodbye servo, goodbye Esper Sentinel. The one ring remains. Because it's indestructible. Because it's indestructible. My stuff also dies. I have a graveyard again, get wrecked. I'm gonna pass after that. I'm gonna play a Glinthorn Buccaneer. It has haste, it's a 2-4. Whenever you discard a card, Glinthorn Buccaneer deals one damage to each opponent. And then I can pay two to discard a card and then draw a card. I'll cycle this Disciple of Malice. Trigger Glenhorn, everybody that's not me gets smacked, and then I will draw a card. And I'll pass. I will untap in my much diminished state. At the beginning of the upkeep, I lose a life from the one ring. I'm going to tap the one ring, put a burden counter on it, I'll draw two cards. Land for turn is Flooded Strand. I'm going to cast an Urza's Bobble. Uh, it's like Mishra's Bobble, but generally worse. Is there anything I am concerned about apart from taking 20 damage to the face? It's a lot of dragons. I, don't, like I think the only board I have in here is Miz and Mortar, so that's, that's I mean, not going to I mean, if you attack you with everything, it would be 24. One, two, three. I'm going to cast Beseech the Mirror with its bargain costs, sure. sacrificing Urza's Bobble. Search your library for a card, exile it face down, then shuffle. If the spell is bargained, you may cast the exile card without paying its mana cost. If its mana value is four or less, put it in your hand if it wasn't cast. I don't know what I'm going to get with this because the One Ring's already in play and all the cool stuff's in my graveyard, but I'll find something. Crux of Fate, destroy all dragons. That'd, That'd be, be fun. Good. <laughs> I'm going to find the Reaver Cleaver. The hell? It yeah. is a three mana legendary artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus one plus one trample and has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, create that many treasure tokens. So I'm gonna fetch. I am going to pay all three of my mana to equip the Reaver Cleaver to a Kiri Line Slinger. How big is that maker? One, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. Um, that was ill advised and I can't actually hit anyone for damage. Correct. Just kidding. Uh, cast Deadly Rollick targeting your commander. Uh, spooky. Go to combat, I'm going to swing a Kiri at you yep. for three. This will create me three treasures. Wow. That's going to be it. I'll pass the turn. Find Glimmer Snarl. Tapped. Seven. Gross. <laughs> that's an even bigger dragon. Old Nabo. Gross. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Speaking of treasures. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. There's two of them. Does he have to deal a combat damage? Or uh, no, any? just whatever a creature. Perfect. Um, yep. What do I want to do? You can just um, kill Jason. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You say at Corbin. Neat. Another you say at Matt. Kura at Corbin. Kura at Matt. We'll go the six at Jason. All right. So it's uh, twenty-four treasures that is, times two. I thought I was gonna have the most artifacts in play. <laughs> Get pooped on. I know. Got any more uh, dragons in your hand? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Pay three for Aristic no. Study. Pay two for an Is It Signet. Five for a Scanos. Dragonheart, I get a copy of him. Lastly, Ambitious Dragonborn enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the greatest power among creatures I control and creature cards in the graveyard. Um, so seven. greatest would be seven. Does anyone have a uh, way out of this? Maybe. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a Psych Rift. Maybe I'll get that. I also have one of those somewhere. I don't. I'll pass my turn and I'll fix my board state. Draw. Uh, I'm just gonna pay six for Galazeth and I will pay one for the Rhystic Study. Trigger, I'll make a treasure. Trigger Academy man Manufacturer. I will also make a food and a clue. Pass turn. I'm gonna basic land cycle this ancient excavation. I will play my land for the turn, which is this basic island. Oh, also, everybody takes the damage. I will play Energy Refractor. Paying the one for Rhystic Study. When it enters the battlefield, I draw a card. I can pay two colorless to add one man of any color to my mana pool. And then I'll pass. I will lose two life due to the birding of, of the one ring. I'm gonna tap the one ring, put another burden on it, and then draw three cards. Uh, land for turn is Seat of the Synod, which is an artifact. Four, Smothering Tide, not paying the one. Two, I am going to cast Arcane Signet, not paying the one. Trigger Smothering Tide. Screw it, yeah, I'll pay two. All right, not paying the one. Professional Facebreaker. All right, I'll pay two. Gonna go to combat. Akiri at Jason and both the goblins at Corbin. I'll be a helper and block uh, Dockside Extortionist. Yeah, I guess we'll just throw him underneath. Sure. Eight minus three is five. Oh, it has trample. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
So I'll get five treasures from the Reaver Cleaver, two treasures from Facebreaker. Second main, I am going to sacrifice a treasure to Professional Facebreaker to exile the top card of my library. I may play that card this turn. Spellskite. I am going to do it again. Land. I am going to do it again. Fire Covenant. That's a lot of life to kill them dragons. <laughs> I don't think we're on that right now. Guess we keep going. Uh, down to six. Demonic Tutor, two mana, to cast Demonic Tutor, not paying. Thought I had damn in here, but it's not. I am going to cast one Dak Faden, not paying the one. I'll pay the two. Okay. I am going to plus two, target player, which is Jason, draws two and then discards two, or plus one, sorry. I won't pay. Sweet. Discard a mountain and a statements. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. I guess I will exile another card from the top of my deck. Fierce Guardianship, do it again. Metal torque. I don't know why I'm doing this again. <laughs> Just for fun. Fluster storm. Wow. Cool. Oh, you fam. I guess at the end of your turn, I'll sack Mishra's bobble. At the beginning yeah. of your I'll upkeep. draw. Trigger smothering tithe. I won't pay. Draw. I'll pay. Four. Rinicus's vile duplication. True. On Miram. Let me pay three real quick. Carnelian orb of dragon kind. Tap it. Just to give the next thing I play haste for. Ugin, the rising star. I'm a fan. This one has haste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. And you get two copies of him? And I get two copies of him. Send the Jugan my way, please and thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I will accept it with open arms. All right, all right. <laughs> we'll play Katria. We'll pay two more and we'll get a Reckless Barbarian. Gives me two more copies. So we'll send... Two old Null Bones at Jason. I was going to say one and Miram. Sure, that also works. Yeah. I'll block the seven. Okay. Corbin, we'll send the Ugin yep. at you. So you need 10 more. Uh, Both the Ryusei's, I'll take those. Yeah. I'll block the 11's and eat the rest of it with my face. I think we're all dead. Yeah, we're dead. Ooh. Good job. Wow. So the entire table fails to find a board wipe and Dragons wins. Thank you, Xavier, for joining us and congratulations on your win. I hope you all enjoy that game. See you next time.